Wow. I'm alive, totally. So, hi, uh, my name is uh, Tomasz Cichiewicz. I'm from Warsaw, Poland. Um, and in Warsaw, there's the Polish Japanese Academy of Information Technology. That's the short version of the name. And in this, uh, in this academy, there's the new media department. And in the new media department, there's a multimedia studio, which uh, I am part of. Uh, so, today I'll just like to introduce you to the multimedia studio uh, and to the touch designer work we're doing there. So, the studio is run by a three person team. The head of the studio is uh, Professor Anna Kimchak. Uh, Olga Vanievich is a graphic designer and animator, and I am the technical and touch support and uh, consultant thing. So, uh, in our studio, we approach students in a very individual way. Uh, there is no um, hard program that you have to follow. Uh, the students' projects are based on their individual interests, on their individual stories, their individual experiences. So, that's... Uh, the thing that we first, uh, that we first uh, get, get to know the student and then we approach them with, uh, with technology, with, uh, uh, with some guidance. Uh, so today I'd like to show you four uh, projects uh, made by our students. These are diploma projects, so it's a master, of, uh, so it's a master degree in art. So the first project is uh, Alexandra Chlodowska Mokiewicz project. It's uh, uh, the project name is ACMRI. So Alexandra fell up the stairs and had a really really terrible head injury, and she had an MRI done for her, which was a really traumatic experience for her. And what you see here are her. Uh, are pictures from her MRI scan uh, shown uh, imported into touch designer. So she took all of the photos from the MRI scan in three dimensions, top, bottom, front, to back, and side to side. And she put them into touch, and then she built a whole network allowing users uh, or um, people that manipulate the, the user interface she created to create uh, like beautiful mandala-like artworks. Um, so, <coughs> Alexandra builds a custom user interface in Touch OSC. Uh, this is uh, an Android simulator on a Touch screen computer. And it feeds OSC data into Touch Designer. Uh, and Touch Designer does, uh, does all the rest. And uh, also, which we can't hear right now, it was integrated with Ableton, uh, so the experience was kind of more, uh, more deep with, uh, with uh, sound on site. So it was a very contemplative uh, piece of work. Uh, we had uh, a lot of uh, people come in, try, uh, try building their own or creating their own mandalas from, uh, you can see the right there, uh, from, uh, from the software. And, and the reception was really, really good. Uh, people really enjoyed it and stayed much longer than they thought they would. Okay, so the second project I'd like to show you is uh, a project by Nina Mikulska. It's called Mesophase. And uh, Nina wanted to take a small scale environment, really, really small scale, like micro cellular, cellular small, and put it into a very, very macro scale. Uh, so basically, she wanted to do a dome projection. 
So this, uh, the idea was to have a dome projection in uh, the Copernicus, uh, heavens of Copernicus uh, planetarium in Warsaw. And the idea was to have a live set uh, with uh, generated touch uh, graphics, DJ, uh, playing accompanied with uh, live music. Uh, so we got the setup, the setup was really simple. Uh, it was two projectors, two K projectors with one blending uh, in between the dome. Uh, so that was March, and we went on with the project, and I was really fired up to do it. Uh, we got all the musicians, everything into play, and in May we got like some kind of uh, technical break for renovation and stuff. So in June, after the break, it turned out these they changed the change projectors, and instead of two projectors with one blend, they put in six 4K projectors, everyone projecting into their own, uh, into their own slice of the dome. So we really hadn't had uh, the time to uh, to reformat the whole thing for her uh, for her uh, diploma. Uh, so this is like uh, part exported from Touch and then put it into the planetarium software and played out uh, and played out uh, there. Um, so uh, this uh, this work had its premiere on the Shinami Festival in Warsaw in September. Uh, it was uh, the reception was really good and it went to, uh, this work went to a full dome projection festival in Mexico as one of the 10 uh, finalists, I think. Can you say that in English? I hope so. Touching a moment where a mother came with his uh, little son, 
And after seeing the work, she said, oh, now I can imagine how my son sees the world. So that was really, uh, that was really, um, that was really moving for us. So the last work I would like to show you is um, a work by Paulina Moneta. And Paulina is a dancer. And what she wanted to explore in her diploma is um, dance, uh, movement, rhythm. So what she has done is uh, a generative installation based on touch design doing the rendering and Microsoft Connect doing the, the motion tracking. Uh, but she's done it in a really clever way, so it's not uh, it's not an installation where you can just appear before the connect do hey hey beautiful pictures appear behind me. Uh, she's done an audio analysis network in which you have to uh, it, it, in which your movements from the connect have to be synchronized with the rhythm of the song, with the pulse of the song. So um, basically, if you if you don't dance into the rhythm, uh, the installation is just uh, waiting until you start doing that. So uh, so that was uh, really really fun. Of course, uh, here Paulina dances to the rhythm, so everything works uh, works really cool. Um, yes. So the the way we work is. Um, in regards to touch designer, um, I show the students a lot of touch design concepts, but the end result is their own work. So this is something really amazing for me because this is a new media arts department. So all the students that we have basically never had any coding ever. That's number one. And number two, they really hate coding. Even they never tried it, but they already hate it. So this is the kind of uh, basic attitude that students come to the uh, multimedia studio. And when, uh, and when we're uh, telling them, all right, maybe we'll try a little bit of coding, the first answer is no. <laughs> so um, for, we've tried various things. In the years, uh, we tried processing, we tried Max, and these are really great frameworks. But from our experience, uh, Touch gives the student instant feedback on what they're doing. Uh, so I have a talk, movie file, that I'm doing a blur. Oh, indeed, it's a blur. Awesome. Then I can connect a chop to it. That's great. So. Uh, so this is really, uh, really something that uh, like breaks this ice of uh, I'm not going to program, I'm going to uh, never. Uh, and the funny thing is that uh, after they get into touch, especially when they start doing their own project, which is really, really good, uh, and they want to do something, they want to do some, something. That's made not necessarily so easy to do with chops, and the, and I say, oh, this is really simple in Python. Okay, let's give this a try. And now we're into Python. So um, so yeah. Uh, so if you're a student and you and you're looking for some sort of uh, platform to do some um, custom, non-standard software of your own or interact with your project or just looking to expand your uh, imagination, try Touch Designer, definitely. If uh, you're a teacher and you're looking into new ways of engaging your students uh, or a fresh way of thinking about programming, about visual arts, go this way, definitely. So, uh, thank you very much uh, for the opportunity to share. Uh, this is our webpage. If you want to, if you want to check out other projects, uh, it's multimedia.org.
pjn.edu.pl. Uh, the address is as simple as the name of the university. So, thank you very much and have a great afternoon.